what's, why is he so frequently referenced in modern politics? Well, in some respects, it's relatively easy. He's a brilliant phrase maker um, and has left to us some powerful phrases that will be used and reused again. So we're likely to hear for some time that some people are more equal than others, that two and two make five, that Big Brother is watching us. In some respects, I think Orwell embodies an attitude rather than a very systematic set of beliefs, uh, an attitude of republican vigilance where truth is boldly told to power. He also epitomizes the politically committed intellectual, though I think it's interesting that he also had a big distrust for intellectuals. He thought that they were liable to overthink things and to put aside their moral feelings or intuitions in the name of a broader abstract theory with disastrous political consequences. He's above all, I think, a, a moralist, a figure, in other words, deeply committed to the objectivity and you might say motivational power of moral judgments in politics. And this means he's always um, going to stand opposed to, say, relativists who might doubt the universality of moral norms, and to realists, on the other hand, who might query the usefulness or practical value of moral beliefs when it comes to the stuff of politics. I suppose we like him because he seemed to stand by some simple moral truths and he also wanted to kind of insist in some respects on the simplicity of truth itself and that's always going to be an attractive option but I think when you look at his works it shows that things are a little bit more tricky or complicated than, than he himself sometimes liked to profess.